lot of little girls grow up dreaming of being Miss America. But Laura Lee Lewis says she wasn't one of them. I would have never thought this would have happened yeah. because, you know, as a young girl, I, I was not considered beautiful to many. Yeah, Laura Lee was born with mid-face hypoplasia. As she grew, the bones in her chin overdeveloped, while the bones in the middle of her face underdeveloped. That it caused for my face to look a little different than normal faces look. And people, mean people, made notice of that. The name calling started when she was just a little girl. Why does your face look like that? You know, why are you ugly? Uh, horse face and um, chinny chin. And, and the bullying only got worse in high school. I ran so quickly to the opposite end of the campus and found the nearest restroom, locked the door, and just sat on the floor and cried. Laura Lee says singing became her escape from her bullies. She was so good on stage, friends suggested she enter the Miss Mississippi's Outstanding Teen Pageant. On her second try, she won. So that proved to me that I was doing something right, regardless of what I looked like. I was making a difference. I can choose to be positive and show people how you can respect yourself, you can value yourself, and you can value others. After high school, doctors were able to correct the alignment of her face with a difficult surgery that took a year of recovery. But Laura Lee says it was all worth it. I'm so glad that happened to me because I learned something so valuable that it's what's right here that's so much more important than what was out here. Megan did a great job with that story. Well, it's the last day to vote Laura Lee Lewis into the finals as America's Choice. The link is under the On TV section at WAPT.com. Don't forget to watch Laura Lee Lewis on the Miss America pageant next Sunday at 8 p.m. right here on 16 WAPT.